after weeks of people wondering whether Zimbabwe's new government would scrap some of Robert Mugabe's black economic empowerment policies, President Emerson Mnangagwa made his position clear on land reform, a policy that saw land seized from white farmers and given to black Zimbabweans. The principle of repossessing our land cannot be challenged or reversed. To do so would be a betrayal of the brave men and women who fell in our protracted war of liberation. I have entrusted it to a soldier, Air Marshal Perenzi, must ensure that appropriate policy instruments are put in place to support all categories of farmers. Manangagawa is promising to tackle corruption, create jobs, improve cash shortages, increase productivity on farms and encourage foreign direct investment by making government policies more investor friendly. He probably has to be very democratic and uh, demonstrate that he differs in leadership style and approach from his predecessor and he definitely has to be an economic performer if he wants to win the election in 2018. The ruling party says Manangagwa is their presidential candidate in next year's election. Zimbabwe's leader says next year's elections will be credible, free, fair, peaceful and transparent. Some Zimbabweans are skeptical things are going to change. They say the only thing different about ZANU-PF is that Robert Mugabe is no longer in charge, but the same faces are still around. President Manangagwa is under pressure to prove his critics wrong. Manangagwa has asked the international community to lift all political and economic sanctions unconditionally. Sanctions were imposed in the early 2000s for alleged human rights abuses. Some in Zanu PF accused the main opposition leader Morgan Sangirai of pushing for sanctions to stay, an allegation opposition members deny. The MDC is not calling for the imposition of sanctions on Zimbabwe. All we are calling for is uh, the implementation of electoral reforms that will enable the holding of free and fair elections in about six or eight months' uh, uh, time from now. Manangaga wants Zimbabweans to be patient as government and the ruling party try to improve the struggling economy. Harumatasa, Al Jazeera, Harare.